On today's episode of the Weekly Monster Truck Podcast, join me as I discuss the results from Monster Jam in Houston, Texas, and what you can expect from Monster Jam in Orlando next week. So strap yourselves in, mash that loud pedal, and get ready, because it's time to jam! Hello and welcome back to the Weekly Monster Truck Podcast. Hi again everyone, I'm Jackson, also known as Monster Jam Historian. You can follow my social media at Monster Jam Historian on Instagram, Monster Jam Historian on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Monster Jam here in Houston. The final week was supposed to be three shows, unfortunately only ended up being two. I'm super excited and I'm ready to talk about Monster Jam here in Houston. No news, unfortunately, so we're just going to jump straight into the results. You guys are going to hear it, and I'm ready for this. You guys better be ready too. Here we go. Jumping into the results from Houston, Texas, and NRG Stadium for show number five. In round one, Rage defeated Overboard, Avenger defeated Max D. Fire, Zombie defeated Gravedigger, and Monster Energy defeated Scooby Doo. In round number two, Rage defeated Black Pearl, Megalodon defeated Avenger, excuse me, Bakugan Dragonoid defeated Zombie, and Monster Energy defeated the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. The semi-finals, Corey Rummel in Rage defeated Adam, Adam Anderson in Megalodon. A surprising upset. And Monster Energy defeated Bakugan Dragonoid. And in the final round, very surprising, uh, Corey Rummel in Rage defeated Todd the Duke and Monster Energy. Absolutely fantastic uh, set of racing on this uh, amazing course. Uh, really just... This Chicago style was something we'd never seen before. Uh, Chicago style, obviously, we've seen many times, a lot of different iterations. I'll put some up on screen. But this was the first time that they really did something unique with Chicago style. Very rarely do we see innovation with Chicago style. The most that I had saw, uh, seen was in 2018, and I loved when they did Chicago back then. And they really haven't done it the same since. Now they have. And that... That show was incredible. So when Monster Jam gets around to doing more shows like that, I really hope they do that. And in fact, I kind of enjoyed it more than the Stadium Championship Series Yellow, if I'm honest. I like the backflip in the middle, but the whole track was really unique and different. So I I was a big fan. I, do, I did like the big center pad, but, you know, it is what it is. Moving back to the results in the Skills Challenge, Bakugan Dragonoid, Ryan Anderson got first place with an 8.940. In second was Adam Anderson Megalodon with an 8.739. Greg Cliss Mohawk Warrior, Bryce Kenny with an 8.607. And then the rest, Max D. Fire in fourth, Rage in fifth, Zombie in sixth, Avenger in seventh. Uh, eighth was Monster Energy, Overboard was ninth. Uh, Gravedig was 10th, Scooby-Doo was 11th, and lucky last, well, I shouldn't say not so lucky, was Black Pearl Colvinard. Uh, I know I'm kind of going competition by competition, but I just wanted to let you guys, you know, just give my thoughts. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about. Number one, Ryan Anderson has been finding his groove. You know, last year we kind of saw he was getting back into the groove in Arlington. And then this year, I, I don't want to say sloppy start, but it felt like he lost his groove. He, 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 he didn't have that... Maybe he just didn't have that confidence. Maybe he didn't have that ability to do those moves. That's changed. So over the past three weeks in Houston, he's gone from not having or seeming like he doesn't have that confidence to pull off that move to pulling it off and pulling it off successfully. And just the bicycle to moonwalk is insane. And he did, he's been doing this, especially as of recently, he's been going from one side of a bicycle to the other side. So he's been, he's been driving it like this. And then he'll he'll do like a sidewall, and then he'll place it up on the other side. Really entertaining. Really love seeing that, especially 
just it's so cool right you know i never get tired of seeing a bicycle especially from ryan henderson and then when you see him he's still innovating even during this time where drivers are starting to get back into the groove because i think we like to think that these drivers are at the level that they were at previously and i kind of don't like saying that they're not but they kind of aren't they it's so hard because they were never the pandemic essentially has placed them on a new level and they're trying to get back up to the level that they're at now. So, just insane. The other thing I wanted to talk about was Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohogora. He's been doing really good in skills. Has not picked up a skills win yet, but I can assure you after Arlington we saw last year, I am certain that he can pull this off yet again. So, very excited to see uh, Bryce Kenny um, hopefully pick up a skills win on the Stadium Championship Series. He's been doing really well. And that's it for the skills challenge. Uh, there were some pretty unique hits, really, of course. The one was, of course, Ryan Anderson and Bakugan Dragonoid. The one, the talking point of skills literally every week is Ryan Anderson. So, fantastic uh, skills challenge. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, had some technical issues. Uh, we're back at it with freestyle. Uh, the winner of freestyle for the first time this season was Todd LeDuc and Monster Energy with a 9.376, followed closely by Ryan Anderson and Bakugan Dragonoid with a 9.031, Maxi Fire Tom Mentz in third with an 8.977, Megalodon in fourth, Overboard in fifth, Avenger in sixth, Zombie in seventh, Black Pearl in eighth, Scooby Doo in ninth, Rage in tenth, <laughs> Grave Digger and Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Uh, did not complete minimum time. So remember the 30 second rule. If you do not complete 30 seconds, you do not get a score. Nonetheless, man, freestyle was insane. For those who've seen uh, the highlights, you can check it out on Monster Jam Lord's channel. Oh man, I mean, freestyle was just nuts. Just every driver put, you know, push the push their foot to the floor. Just. Freestyle keeps getting better each and every week. Um, granted, I did enjoy show three the most, and I think that that has been the best show by far. But I think it was because they were adapt. Oh, oops, <laughs> they're adapting to this new track, and it's just exciting to see um, these drivers go at it. And I just love seeing Ryan Anderson do his thing. And Todd LeDuc. Todd LeDuc had an amazing run. Just incredible. Freestyle was amazing, as always. This track is so tricky. Now, I want to mention that I'm interested to see if they're going to do this each and every week. Uh, or if it, this is going to continue for other tracks. Um, as you know, for the first two weekends in Houston, they had the same track, and then they changed it up. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a change in track in, say, from, like, say, Orlando to Tampa. Like, if we're going to get this in Tampa, and we're going to get the old style in Orlando or something different. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm excited to see it. And your overall event champion was Ryan Anderson in the Bakugan Dragonoid. I'm going to get to a point about Ryan Anderson in the statistics. But nonetheless, Ryan has been killing it the last few weeks in Bakugan. He has been absolutely insane. I'm just blown away. It's, it's, like, it's like with skills that I talked about before. Sorry, it, he's just been so, he's he's brought back his confidence. His confidence has returned, and I'm just blown away by it. You know, it's like we saw Tom Mentz and Adam Anderson out of the gate battling it out, and then Ryan is like come out of nowhere and be like, hey guys, I'm still in the running for this, and especially later, which I'll get to. I keep hinting at it, but stay tuned. Moving on to show number six, the final show in Houston. What wasn't supposed to be, but ended up being 
let's take a look at racing. Round number one, Zombie defeated Max D Fire, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Gravedigger, Black Pearl defeated Scooby Doo, and Adventure defeated Overboard. In round number two, Rage defeated Zombie, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Bakugan, Monster Energy defeated Black Pearl, and Megalodon defeated Avenger. In the semi-finals, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior defeated Rage, and Megalodon defeated Monster Energy. In the final round of racing, Adam Anderson could not defeat Bryce Kenny in the Great in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Uh, again, a fantastic night of racing. Bryce finally picked up a win on this series. Not skills like I kind of was hoping for, since he's been so dominant in that. Uh, but nonetheless, a win is a win. It gets him points. Bryce has just been insane. Unbelievable. I cannot believe how amazing he has been this season, especially in skills. Um, I'll prove that point by moving on to the skills challenge. Ryan again doing his thing. I am just blown away and astounded by what he was able to pull off. Just insane. He won... Skills with an 8.678, followed by Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with an 8.64, Max D Fire, Tom Mentz with an 8.619, Megalodon with an 8.263, fifth was Monster Energy, sixth was Avenger, Zombie was in seventh, Rage in eighth, Scooby Doo in ninth. Gravedigger in 10th, Overboard in 11th, and Black Pearl in 12th. Again, skills is just always so fun and exciting to watch, and I'm just blown away by Ryan's ability to just go out there. I don't even know how. I don't even know how to describe it. He just comes out, he bicycles. I, I don't know. It's... It, it works every time. You know, Ryan was talking last week, uh, Zielsdorf, uh, co-host of the podcast, uh, about how Tom does the same thing and it works. Well, now Ryan's doing doing this thing and it's working. Fans cannot get enough of this. And honestly, I do not blame them. This is just an insane freestyle, uh, sorry, skills and... I just can't believe that he's able to just pull off these moves constantly each and every week. He's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Moving on to freestyle. Oh, man. Freestyle at this show is absolutely insane because uh, Baru Musawa in Zombie picked up what could have been what I would say has to be a great moment in his career by winning freestyle. Barry Musawa with the 9.393. Absolutely insane run. I can't believe it. He was incredible. Absolutely jaw-dropping freestyle. And he pulled off a backflip. And he landed it successfully. What a freestyle. He won... Uh, he was in first. Max D. Fire, Tom Mentz in second with a 9.251. Rage in third with a 9.208. Bakugan Dragonoid, Ryan Anderson in fourth. Gravedigger in fifth. Monster Energy in sixth. Megalodon in seventh. Great Kusmohokwari in eighth. Scooby-Doo in ninth. Adventure in tenth. Overboard in eleventh. And Black Pearl in twelfth. Your overall event champion was Ryan Anderson in the Bakugan Dragonoid. Houston Show 7 was unfortunately cancelled due to inclement weather as there was a huge, huge just snowstorm and power got knocked out and it was it was quite crazy if I'm honest. Uh, it's very unfortunate to see shows get cancelled. Uh, but nonetheless, man... Houston is unfortunately over, but we get to go to Orlando next weekend, and I am pumped. I cannot wait, but not entirely there yet. We do have some things to talk about before we get into that as I look at the championship standing. So here we go. First place, still leading, is Tom Mentz in Max D Fire with 171 points. In second place is Ryan Anderson in the Bakugan Dragonoid with 162 points. Followed in 
Uh, third place is Bryce Kenny in Great Cliffs Mohawk Warrior with 153 points. Todd LaDuke in fourth with 146. Adam Anderson in fifth. Uh, Baru Musawa in sixth in Zombie. Jamie Garner in Overboard in seventh. Eighth is Corey Rummel in Rage. Ninth is Jim Collar in Avenger. Tenth is Cole Vinard and Black Pearl. Christian Anderson in eleventh with uh, Gravedigger. And last but certainly not least, is Lindsay Reed in Scooby-Doo in 12th. Um, the points are heating up, especially with the first two being Tom Mentz, nine, nine points? Yeah, nine points is what separates him from Ryan Anderson. Ryan better be able to continue his dominance into Orlando because I can assure you guys if if he is able to do what he has been doing and do it well he is <laughs> excuse me he is gonna be in the series lead absolutely without a shadow of a doubt in my mind Ryan is gonna be leading if he's able to keep up his consistency which he certainly has been doing. He has been just absolutely insane the entire season, so consistent with points and with the overall event championships he's been earning, which I'll get to in the stats just now. Just insane. I can't believe just how incredible he has been in every competition. He has just been insane each and every week. Love the guy, love his stuff, can't wait for him to do well. Moving on to the statistics, uh, as you know, I have a spread, sorry about that, I have a spreadsheet with statistics that I update each and every week that reflects off of racing wins, racing records, skills wins, freestyle wins, overall event championships and points, and this is able for uh, not just me, Especially me, but not just me, but fans to keep up to date and see how well drivers are doing. So if they ever want to check out the stats, they go to the spreadsheet, which is linked in the description and in the pinned comment below. Check it out down there. Um, he is, you know, this spreadsheet is there. It's categorized. It ha it's highlighted. You'll see it. It's it's hard not to miss. It is my way of keeping up to date, keeping records to show how drivers are performing this season. And I love doing this. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about the most notable points. I want to start with Ryan Anderson, who has a racing record of six to five, uh, which is six wins to five losses. He has no racing wins. He has four skills wins. Currently the most Skills wins for the entire season followed closely behind Kristen Anderson and Tom Mens and Max Definer. Remember Kristen, she won uh, basically all of those in Salt Lake City. We do include Salt Lake City in the thing. He also has three overall event championships. He is tied with the amount of overall event championships with Tom Mens in Max D Fire. Uh, he is just, Ryan has just been insane, uh, and he is so close to taking over from Tom Mance in, uh, serious points. Also want to talk about Adam Anderson, because he's increased his racing streak from 20 wins to 8 losses. Again, these include the races held at Salt Lake City. Um, nonetheless, Man, he has just been absolutely insane this entire season. I have been so impressed with Adam Anderson and his ability to race in Megalodon. A truck that he has... Mm, other than Arlington, he's really never driven it before. It's a truck that he's unfamiliar with. Well, now he's driving it, and look how well he's doing. He's performing very well. Uh, he has uh, four racing wins. The racing uh, record I just said. He has one skills win. Uh, three donut wins, which are from Salt Lake City. No freestyle wins. Uh, he has 
two overall event championships too. The other driver I wanted to talk about was Bryce Kenny, the Great Coast Mohawk Warrior, as he picked up his first racing win of the season, increasing his racing record from 15 wins to 10 losses. Absolutely crazy how well Bryce has been in racing this season. Now, there isn't anything else that's noteworthy here other than the amount of times that he has come second in skills. I have seen him constantly, each and every week, pulling off these moonwalks and things that I don't think anyone is talking about, mainly because with moonwalks, it's hard to be innovative. You either be innovative and you risk uh, rolling over, or you just do a normal one. People are like, oh, that's cool. But Bryce has been so good at just popping the truck up, balancing it, and getting high scores. It's helping him out in points, but if he can get that skills win, I think he's really got something in the bag. Now, granted, he would have to do that based... He, he would have to make sure that Ryan doesn't pull off his patented bicycles, because we know that if he's done that, then freestyle doesn't really matter. <laughs> Sorry, not freestyle. Uh, skills doesn't really matter, but nonetheless... He has just been insane all season long, and Bryce really is in another level, and I think he's going to be able to pull off uh, a skills win, hopefully sometime soon. The last driver I wanted to talk about was Todd the Duke in Monster Energy. He has uh, three racing wins, all from Salt Lake City. He has 18 wins to 9 losses as his racing record, which is the second best on the entire list. Now, I am counting the most amount of wins and the least amount of losses, as there are drivers on here, like, um, I don't really have a good example. Well, there are drivers like uh, Cole Venard, who's only got 4 losses on here, so really, it's... You know, you know, Cole has got a, a low amount of losses. He's got a fairly decent amount of wins. So, it's kind of hard to pick between the two. But definitely, Todd LeDuc has an amazing racing streak going uh, in terms of wins to losses. He has one skills win, zero donut wins, two freestyle wins, one overall event championship, and he is very close to taking the lead in, uh, or I shouldn't say taking the lead, but he's a contender for the top three in the championship series picture. Now, what does this mean for Orlando? What can we expect to see in Orlando for Monster Jam? Well, I'll tell you what I expect. I expect absolutely amazing jaw-dropping action the entire weekend. I think, actually, that Todd, that I think Ryan is really going to get in another level, and he's going to take the lead from Ryan, and, oh, sorry, Tom Mentz in Max D Fire. I hate saying this about my man Tom, but he just hasn't had that same Energy, I shouldn't say energy, energy is the wrong word, um, what's the, what's the word, more like he hasn't had the same type of dominance, that's the word I'm looking for, dominance, he hasn't had the same dominance that he has been portraying each and every week, now he is starting to lose that, and Ryan is starting to pick that up, and if Ryan keeps up what he's doing, He's won the series easily. If he keeps doing what he is doing, I think he's going to win. Now, granted, um, anything can happen. Tom could completely fire back in Orlando, and Ryan really falls behind. We don't know. It's hard to tell because I thought three weeks in Houston would give you a rough estimate of who's going to win this series, but it's really been different. So, honestly... And it's Monster Jam. You never know what's gonna happen, and I kind of like that. I kind of, I kind of like guessing and at one hoping that I'm right, but also hoping that I'm wrong, because I don't know. It's just fun trying to guess these things, and 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. Really nothing else to say because it's just been an insane season to watch. This is this series is so competitive only with 12 trucks but they're like the 12 best of the best really and and crazy to see i'm gonna keep up the predictions from last week uh first firstly uh (laughs) ryan's bets we're gonna address that in the next podcast in orlando uh, but I'm going to make my predictions. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. I think for racing, we're going to see uh, another driver. In fact, I think Todd LeDuc is going to get into a level of his own and take a racing win. I really think that he has th- the ability and the capability of winning racing. Skills. I'm gonna 100% nail it down to just two people and two people only. That being Bryce Kenny, the Great Coast Mohawk Warrior, as my undercard. But of course, r- excuse me, Ryan Anderson is the other pick I have. Uh, easily, easily is my pick. Uh, one of those two for sure. I can't narrow it down to anyone else but him. Uh, it's it, it's almost a given at this point. But hey, you never know. A- anything could happen in Orlando. Freestyle is a lot harder. I honestly cannot nail it down. Narrow it. Sorry. Narrow it down to one. If, I, if you forced me to pick one, I honestly would probably say R- Ryan Anderson. I mean, he's been pulling off good freestyles as of recently, but he hasn't really won any freestyle yet, I'm waiting for him to pull off a freestyle that just excites everyone and gets the lead, but, I mean, who knows, that's my picks, and, oh, I should also say, I definitely think that Ryan and I hate, I, man, I hate saying this, I love Tom Menz, but I just can't see him doing I can't, unless he finds that dominance that he had in him previously, I can't see him taking this series, I I can't see him keeping that top position against the rest of the field. I honestly think Ryan Anderson and Bakugan Dragonoid is going to take the racing win easily, easily, for next week, or sorry, for the week after next week, after Orlando. And unfortunately, that is it, guys. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening. Remember, if you want to follow my social media, at Stone on Instagram, Stone on YouTube, you can also follow the official Weekly Monster Truck Podcast Instagram page, at the Weekly MT Podcast on Instagram. And remember, for more places to listen on, you can check out the, uh, if you want to listen to the Audible version the audio-only ex- uh, audio version, check out Spotify, Anchor, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, uh, all sorts of places, great places you can listen to. And you can also check out the video version with my face and visuals on YouTube. So you want to make sure you check that out. Before we close off today's episode, just want to thank you guys again for the support. Uh, I've got some great things coming up in the next few weeks, and I'm super, super, super excited to keep the podcast going. Uh, Great content coming up, and I'm just looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys next weekend for Orlando. Peace out.